Thanks to Paver Restoration for sponsoring Shore Sports Zone's coverage of St. John Vianney. St. John Vianney looking for a spot in the TFC Finals. The Lancers taking on Lenape, a team they beat in the regular season. Low scoring first half here, Zoe Perro taking advantage of the open look. St. John Vianney with a 12-6 lead. Kelly Campbell is closing out her high school career playing at an exceptional level. She goes under the basket, look at this reverse, gorgeous. Counted in one, we gotta take another look at this one. Kelly Campbell is one of the best in New Jersey. No doubt that DePaul is getting one dynamic basketball player. But the story of the first half was fouls, plenty of them. Both teams went to the line 40 times. Campbell made 11 of 12 free throws in the first half. St. John Vianney with a 26-16 lead through two quarters. In the third, SJV got back in the flow and turned to Kimmy Evans. Evans, a force in the paint. And here's Kimmy Evans once again. Count the basket and the foul. Evans scored 11 of her 14 points in the third quarter and busted the game open. In the fourth, Zoe Perro continued her solid play in the postseason, counted and won. Kelly Campbell leads the way with 23. St. John Vianney cruises to a 57-36 win over Lenape to reach the Tournament of Champion Finals on Monday night in Trenton against Manasquan, a team the Lady Lancers have beaten three times this year. After the game, the Lancers reflect on their semifinal win and look ahead to round four of SJV and Manasquan. Yeah, I mean, the fouls were crazy. You know, when you have that many people taken out of the game, you know, our bench players did a great job coming out on the court, making the great play, and it just allowed us to come back in in the second half and really make good decisions. It was quite an ugly first half, so it was nice to get some flow in the second half and finally start playing like a, some basketball and then just shooting foul shots. <laughs> this is what we've been working for for four years, and we finally got to it, so we're definitely not going down easy. We're going to give it all we got on Monday. Yeah, you know what? Madison's a tremendous team. Um, they're playing at a really high level right now, and um, you know, for us, we're excited to be there. And the fact that it's Madam Squan sitting across from us, uh, it, it really should be something that the the fans in the Shore Conference should be excited about. I mean, we've had multiple All Shore Finals, but uh, to have it again, yet again, another year, I think uh, it should be exciting for everybody around. For more Jersey Shore sports, log on to ShoreSportsZone.com.